right now I get to go to a lot of schools eh? um, in missions. And when I say missions, it's basically going to speak to students. Because you see as celebrities, like I said, I used to be a secular artist before I got born again. And uh, being a celebrity, a lot of these youngings, they do the things we tell them to do. They do the things they see us doing. But like I said, if you want to become a better version of yourself or live in your full purpose, you have to actually walk very close with God. God is the only person who can make you discover your purpose. And if you want to have an intentional life, that means you question everything, the why behind everything that you're doing. So when I started questioning the why, I was like, okay, you have a lot of followers on social media. Mm -hmm. You have influence. Mm -hmm. You have young people who are listening to you. Okay. So when you're doing secular music, you're telling them, you know, um, smoke, drink, um, you know, be sexually immoral. And it's okay, you know, that's the mentality we are selling. But you see, at the end of the day, me, I'm making money doing that. But there's someone who's getting into that and then they're not even able to recover and get back to themselves. Some people are getting into that, that which I'm influencing and standing for. And these kids, eh, the funniest and the, not even funniest, the saddest thing is they become, they, beca they become a product of the choices we make and the selfishness that we have. So for me, I had to sit myself down and be like, wish you cannot afford to be selfish. This life is too short. And everything that you're doing, because if I say something, smoking is okay, smoking weed is fine, then someone in high school decides to smoke weed. Then they smoke the weed that makes them go mad. Like whichever way we might look at it. You know, it's all fun and games until it hits home. It's very sad the number of students who are already using drugs. So can you imagine someone is already using drugs from primary school to high school? By the time they're getting to campus, will they make it through campus? Are they going to make it even after campus out, outside here? So it's very sad. And I think for me, um, the turning point was when I started to realize whatever I put out there doesn't only, you know, it's selfish of me to think it's or it should be just for my gain. You get what I'm saying? But... Um, Whatever I put out there, a lot of people are looking at it and a lot of youngings that are doing the same thing that I'm saying that is okay. And um, the way we are doing high school missions, over the last one month, I've spoken to over 50,000 students. And the saddest thing, it's the struggles. Um, the, the struggles are the same in most of the schools. The struggles, the challenges, they're the same. It's early pregnancies. Um, there's a lot of drug abuse, especially weed. And there's alcoholism. Imagine these are high school students. You're looking at a form one, they're like, yes. I do drink and I smoke weed. Some schools even, we're even given like weed after we are done talking and it's very interesting and they're like, you know, I'm addicted to this. I don't know how to stop. And, uh, you know, all, kids are going through all sorts of things.